trying to be friendly. does everything you do. Oh, 
I could just run through it barefoot. Rarely I could. <laughs> ah, yes. Another day, another romance. Could it be the spring, daddy, da da, that makes the girlies don't care? Good morning, you handsome devil. Oh, no, it ain't a nice spring. It is me here. And now, aren't we pretty? brood from a fresh cord grow rubbed on the scalp will make hair grow. Hmm, that sounds logical. I dreams of Jeannie with the cold black hair. She loves my feathers, they so thick, so rare. I have no worries and I'm feeling swell. And all the what bothers me? Uh -oh. Man, how'd I get sucked into this? First, brewing pot, till good and hot. What that cat up to? Uh-uh. I gotta go where the wild goose flies. Boy, boy, I am the only living mortal what knows the secret for curing baldness. The secret? <laughs> uh, what secret? Why the secret of regrowing fresh hair? I got a date in a half an hour. Could it be ready by then? Sure enough. Just leave your head in my hands, boss. First, we massages the scalp well, and then uses the secret tonic handed down to me by my sainted granny. Now, just a few drops, then we rubbed it in real good. And presto! More hair! Well, what do you know? Now to escape that air break. And with coils, too. <laughs> Me hair fell out again. Mm, uh, well, uh, well, you see, boss, your hair being the rare type, we have to use the mud pack treatment. Mud pack treatment? Hmm. First, we apply the mud base. Then we plant the hair seeds in the follicles. Then we mobilize the molecules with a liquid revitalizer. I feel something. There you are, boss. Who said grass don't grow on a busy street? Uh, by the way, do you like the color? Gorgeous, boss. Gorgeous! It came off again. Go on the boss. We gotta get rid of this dandruff right away. Dandruff? Y'all's up, boss. You're next. First, we stimulate the cranium with a stimulating massage. Boy, me scalp is really tingling. 
Then activate the roots with a special tonic. Now, the singe. <laughs> It tops it off with an egg shampoo. That's all. Next customer. So long, Baldy. Uh -huh. Boss, boss, let's not be splitting hairs. Genuine natural hair. Gee, you really did it. Thanks. Hmm, just in time for me day. Could it be the spring that eats the dog that makes the curly dog care? Oh no, it isn't the spring. It is me here. Seem to whisper Louise. Birds in a tree seem to twiddle Louise. Each little rose tells me it knows I love you. Love you. Hiya, fellas. Hello, cousin Hyman. Say, why all the gloom? And where's Louise? Louise? <laughs> The cat broke up our show and 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 caught Louise. <laughs> caught Louise. <laughs> Gesundheit.
talks are loud on this beach. your hat. Help! Help! 
little tree. Can I help you? Oh, nobody can help me. <laughs> bah! He's always crying because he's Willie the Weeping Willow. He's always complaining. Oh, and you'd complain, too. These big greedies won't give me any room for my roots, and I'm always in the shade. Tough. I'll never be a big tree. Couldn't you big fellows make a little room for his roots? and let him have a little sunshine? What? We, we were here first. Well, it wouldn't hurt to be a little charitable. Don't tell us what to do, Scram. See, they're all mean. Oh, I'll never grow up. Golly, I wish I could help you, Weeping Willie. You could help me leave this terrible forest and find a nice sunny spot. I could? How? Find the magic potion of motion. What's that? <sighs> Imagine him answering the riddle. What riddle? The ogre under the mountain has a magic potion of motion that he will pour on anyone who can answer the riddle. What is the riddle? Nobody knows. We've never seen him. Oh, it's hopeless. Please don't cry, Weeping Willie. I'm going to find the magic potion of motion for you. Oh, I truly hope so. So do I. <laughs> Tumbleweeds, could you please tell me if you've ever heard of the Potion of Motion? So you've noticed that we can move. I'll say. Well, we met the old of the mountain. And you answered his riddle? Well, not exactly. He spilt some of the potion on us to get rid of us because <laughs> we tasted so terrible. Oh. This is where he tasted me. Oh, my. Well, would you fellows mind telling me where I could find the ogre? You see, I have a friend who's a tree, and I'd like to get some of the potion for him. Oh, that's impossible. Hopeless. But why? The ogre loves to eat vegetables, but he's too lazy to raise them. So he offers tasty-looking plants a chance to answer the riddle. If they can, yep, they win the gift of motion. If not, into the chop suey. Would it be cheating to ask what the riddle is? Yes, that's OK. Because we can't remember it. Bye. So long. Hmm, maybe in my present form I don't look very tasty. But with a pull here and a push there. There. I only hope I look delicious. Now to find the ogre and see if I can answer that riddle. OK, tasty tidbits. Riddles, anyone? Ah, oh, it's the ogre. Ask me. Nah, you look like you taste like a tumbleweed. Blech. I'd like to try. Say, what a salad you would make. Now, here's the potion of motion, and here is my shopping basket. It's a difficult riddle, so please be sure you want to try it. Uh, I'm sure. Then listen carefully. It is there when you can't see it, and when you do, you flee it. It walks, it talks, it flies, it cries. It seems like everything in general, but it is an animal, vegetable, or mineral. What is it? Give up? Let me think. It's a widget. No help from the audience. Besides, you're wrong. Wait, it, it's coming to me. It's a ghost, like me! Yay! When you see it, boy, you're fleeing! The, po the potion! Oh, it spilled all over the grass. But I saved a few drops. Whee! We can move! Hooray! Free the animals! Now I have to hurry before this potion evaporates. 
Close your eyes. Uh, I feel kind of peculiar. I don't believe it. Where are we going, Casper? I know a place where you can have plenty of space. Big Willow, may Little Willie plant himself on this bank? Why, sure. Welcome, neighbor. Drink deep now, Willie, and grow. Oh, I will, I will. Goodbye for now, Willie. I'll be visiting you again soon. I'll be waiting here, Casper. Bye. never got off the ground. Millions of dollars in taxes. Poof! Up in smoke. I tell you, something ought to be done. Well, Dad, I guess it'll be up to the youth of the nation to solve its problems. Er, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, Specs. Mm, guess you're right. Hmm. From this abandoned warehouse will be the shell of our rocket. Lower away, men! Now, the problem of sending a rocket into space will be explained with this cosmographical map of the sky. The rocket will have to pass through the Milky Way, and if there are no bottlenecks, Proceed past the Big Dipper to the Dog Star, which is at the halfway mark. Our final destination is the moon. Oh, Professor. Yes, Jobs? Suppose our rocket misses the moon and winds up here. Then our secret timing device will speed up the rocket to land when the moon is here. Well, what happens if it goes to this side of the moon? The timing device will then slow it down to land when the moon is here. Hit that call, tweet a woe! You win, Specs! All set for the solid fuel test, Goop. Pour in the fuel. Where we going? How's the liquid fuel experiment going, Chubbs? All set for the test, Professor. Save the fuel! Men, we will now need a spaceman for our rocket. Will a volunteer please take one step forward? Very well, Goop. Who, me? Now, due to the lack of gravity on the moon, we will have to see how our spaceman reacts to weightlessness. Okay, Chubbs. <laughs> I'm a moon man! I'm a moon man! This centrifuge will test your ability to withstand the terrific pressure you will experience in space flight. Let it go!
our subject has blacked out. We will have to proceed with the pressure suit test. One pressure suit coming up, Professor. Oh boy, it's up to 40 pounds already. What's that racket? I can't bear to look. Geronimo! I wonder what those kids are up to now. Spy! Saboteur! Ready for the countdown. Five, four, Three, two, one, blast off! Ah. Oh boy! It's Queen out of sight! Gentlemen, our launching was a success! Specs, off to the woodshed! Oh well. Back to the drawing board. My baby Hugh is such a sweet child. Smart as can be, he's gentle and mild. He grew awfully fast. He's something to see. Just two years of age and looks just like me. Yeah, good morning, Ma. Good morning, Huey, darling. Made to Huey. Tis fishing I'm going, and I'm going alone, do you hear? Alone! 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 Huey's going fishing! Huey's going fishing! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! A fish! Can I dig for worms too, huh, Papa? Yeah, please, Papa, let me dig for worms. All right. Go ahead and dig. Oh, thanks, Papa dear. Uh, I hope he digs his way to China. Yeah, lots of worms under here, Papa. Papa, baby, you we want to fish. Baby, you we want to fish. Please, Papa, let me fish. Let me fish. All right, son. You can fish. But go get your own fishing pole. All right, Papa. Papa! fish next to me. Be setting yourself over there. All right, Papa. <laughs> oh, I touched the fish. And it looks just like Papa. 
Papa. Yeah, stupid numbskull. What in the head, Papa? Uh. You want to make me crazy? Come on, get in the boat. There's another spot we'll be trying to fish from. Oh, goody, goody, goody! I promised my papa I'd be a real good boy. Oh boy! A fish! as well be getting home. There's no use trying to fish with the likes of you around. Papa, Papa, looky! I got a big fat flounder! Show. 
Oh, Svensson, would you please come here? Yeah, madam, I am coming. Svensson, you've got to take some weight off Fifi. You should leave it to me, madam. She will lose a lot more before I get through with her. to qualify for the dog show. Remove the collar, please. Rabies shots? How terribly chic! There! Hand me the friend stand from my bag, please. My! Just like a nurse! Here. Aha! Still in the million dollar diamond dog collar, eh? Well, no. I'm taking you down to the. Huh? Baby Astro! 
Partridge. Arr! And your name is Ozzy. Hmm. 121 Chestnut Street. Oh. <laughs> Guess I'll have to deliver you myself. Just follow me, Ozzy. You shouldn't eat junk like that, Ozzy. You're liable to get indigestion. Turn this umbrella. Everything's okay now, Ozzy. Let's go. Now this will keep you out of trouble till I get you delivered. story of police patrol. All right, you guys, let them have it. In the car and after a men. <laughs> okay, Murphy, release the bloodhound. <laughs> At last you have arrived. Come in, come in. I have been waiting for you. Well, looks like Ozzy will be well taken care of. Taxidermist? Oh, poor, poor Ozzy. I'm too late. <laughs> I prepare you for stuffing. Stop! Don't you dare hurt my little friend. <laughs> well, Ozzy, that ought to keep you out of trouble.
Surprise! It's the cat! Run for your life! <laughs> Rube, Z -Z -Z Zeke, Ezra, L -L 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 Luke, Abner, and... 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 <laughs> Louie! <laughs> La cucaracha, la cucaracha. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Ya no puede caminar. Gracias for the ride, amigo. When it's not just... Amigos! That means hello, fellas, and Mexico, you know. It's only Cousin Hyman back from his vacation in Mexico. Say, what's the matter, fellas? Aren't you glad to see me? Hyman, we haven't eaten in weeks. That cat up there is driving us crazy. Cat, huh? Well, I learned lots of tricks in Mexico about El Gato. That means cat, you know. Just limb the cousin Herman. Oh, great, Caballero. Uh uh. Okay, fellas, on with the fiesta. Gee, thanks, Hyman.
cucaracha, la cucaracha. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar.
targets for our scare raids for the next few weeks are outlined on this map. Now, what is the most important thing in a scare raid? Surprise? Speed? No, the most important element is the weather. That's true. But who can tell us the weather weeks in advance? The weather prophet, the groundhog, you fools. Okay, we'll go ask him. No, I don't want this fouled up. Our fair weather friend, Casper, will do it. All right, I'll do it. Just so poor Mr. Groundhog isn't scared by any of you. Mr. Groundhog, Weather Bureau. Temporarily out of business. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Groundhog. How did you get in here? Don't you believe in signs? I'm sorry. I heard you crying, and I thought I might be of some help. Say, where is your shadow? Why, uh... Oh, don't bother to explain. I know just how badly you feel. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost, and ghosts don't have shadows. A ghost? But a friendly ghost, Mr. Groundhog. Well, then maybe you can help me. How can a groundhog tell the weather without his shadow? I guess he can't. Why? <laughs> oh, that I'm ruined. I'm ruined. Golly, this is terrible. Where did your shadow go? Who knows? I just woke up one day and it was gone. No notes, nothing. Gosh, Mr. Groundhog, I'm going to start looking for your shadow right now. Oh, thank you, Casper. I wonder why Mr. Groundhog's shadow would want to leave him. He's such a nice person. Gee, if I had a shadow, I'd never feel alone. Say, it's a ghost. <laughs> You're not alone now, old-timer. I hope you think a groundhog shadow is good enough for you. But you belong to Mr. Groundhog. I'll attach myself to whomever I may want to. Hi, teddy bear. Nice day, isn't it? It sure is, Casper. Hey, why didn't you scare that guy? Because it's not right. What? <laughs> Don't tell me I've attached myself to a namby-pamby. <laughs> Excitement is what I want, but not with a friendly ghost. Wait! Mr. Groundhog needs you. I'm getting out of here before I'm all light and no shadow. Casper, save me! Save me! Wait, Mr. Hunter, we're chasing a shadow, not a rabbit. Yikes! Ghosts and shadows! The woods are haunted! Do you think the groundhog will take me back, holes and all? I'm sure you'll patch them up together somehow. It's certainly taken Casper a long time to get the weather information. We should have gone ourselves. I never should have trusted him. He's too good. Then let's go. <laughs> Temporarily out of business? He's not even home. Gee, it's the ghosts. You better hide. Aha, uh -huh, so there you are. And just where is Mr. Groundhog? Uh, isn't he in his burrow? No! Where did you hide him? But I didn't. Don't you try to protect them. You can't fool us. Hold on. You got this all wrong. It's a mud monster. The thickens with scare raids. Let's hide ourselves. Ha, oh, you scared them right out of a scare raid. You mean they were scared of me? Yes, they scare easily. Gosh, but they were mean. Come on, let's see about Mr. Groundhog. Do you see him, Casper? Not a sign anywhere. But why would he leave his burrow? He was under the weather when I saw him last. Let's go up and look around. Good idea. Say, come over here and check these footprints. It's him, all right. I feel it. A perfect fit. They lead right up to that high mountain. Hill of danger. Gosh. Quick, you follow that trail. I'll fly up around the mountain. Oh, I may as well spend all my days here. I'll never see my shadow again. <laughs> Gosh, he could fall off, and it's all my fault. I'm back! I'm back! Whoops! Golly, he was scared right off the cliff by his own shadow. Take it easy, Mr. Groundhog. I've got you. 
Oh, thank you, Casper, but I'm still all alone. I'm sure your shadow doesn't think so. My, my shadow? Yes, I'm sure it's not mine. Oh, I just know we're going to have fair weather now that my shadow is back. Attention all ghosts, attention all ghosts. Prepare for Operation Scare. Power to planes, begin takeoffs. want to go out and scare people. If you please, sir, I don't like to scare people. I want to be friendly. Friendly? That's insubordination. You're guilty of conduct unbecoming a ghost. I'm stripping you of your wings. And here's your dishonorable discharge. <laughs> Gentlemen, I now give you the ghost of the town, Casper.
friendly ghost. If this keeps up, people will never be afraid of us. I've got an idea. Let's pull a scare attack on the television studio. Yeah, yeah. That'll fix Casper. <laughs> Thank you, sir. A skeleton key. <laughs> Junior account. Not so fast. How do I know your bank is safe? Behind this impregnable steel door, your pennies are as safe as the gold in Fort Knox. <laughs> without his disguise. And what better witness can you have than an elephant? That's right. An elephant never forgets. Elephants never forget, eh? Well, I'll fix that. Are sure the witness is well protected? Take a look. <laughs> this is really living. Room service for the witness, monsieur. Just a minute. Okay, go right in. Bonjour, monsieur. Your breakfast? May I recommend the fruit, monsieur? It is delicious. It is guys. That's a mighty fine looking apple you have there. Do you, officer, you take it. There's plenty more fruit here. Hotel Bob, Sergeant Thursday, send me up for to shave the witness. Uh, 
Any medicine? Here! No! Come on now. Take your medicine like a good little fella. Here, I'll show you. Why, well, there's nothing to it. <laughs> there now. <laughs> Why, well, well, you'd think the duck was trying to poison you. Yeah, come in. I'm the chambermaid. I brought you this nice, warm electric blanket. What do you do with that? Why, you just wrap it around you and then... Then you plug it in? <laughs> hey! Who are you? Don't you remember me bumping into you when I robbed that bank? Gosh, I don't remember. That's all I want to know. Thanks, chum. It's Mike, the Masquerader! You got nothing on me, covers? Oh, yeah? We've got an eyewitness that'll put you behind bars. Ain't this the guy you saw run out of the bank? I don't remember ever seeing him till just now. You don't remember? <laughs> Some witness. An elephant never forgets. <laughs> yeah. I got such a bad memory, I have to keep my memories on a tape recorder. See? Don't you remember me bumping into you when I robbed that bank? Here's one disguise you won't make a quick change out of. Dear, I wonder who those fellas were. that could ride underwater, and you tried to corner the market on bathing suits. Well, uh, you see, Ethel... Uh... And how about the fortune you were gonna make on this combination golf club and umbrella? Ethel, the trouble with you is you have no faith in my ability. I've got it all up here, and when my ship comes in, you'll be glad you married a brain like me. <laughs> Yet. All I need is just one good idea. You look like you need a friend, too. Here, pal. Thanks, mister. Did, 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 did you say uh, thanks, mister? I... I... I guess I did. Holy cow! A talking horse! With this, I can make a fortune! Gosh, I didn't know I could talk to people till just now. I just bought you for ten bucks. <laughs> Gabby, you and I are gonna make a million bucks together. I did it at last. This is the greatest. I just bought a talking horse. Oscar, are you all right? Ethel, 
I want you to meet Gabby, my talking horse. Gabby, say hello to the missus. Come on, Gabby. Come on. Say something. Gabby? Ha! But Ethel, I'm telling you, he can talk. <laughs> Why didn't you talk for the missus? Gosh, I tried to, but the words just wouldn't come out. But you're talking now. That's right, I am. Hmm. It seems that the only time I'm able to talk is when I'm alone with you. You just ruined the best idea I ever had. Come on. You're going back to the glue factory. I knew it was too good to last. Hold everything. I'm going to be rich after all. Huh? Gabby, I'm going to enter you in that race. But I can't run. I've got all I can do to stand up. <laughs> all you have to do is talk to the horses. Talk to the horses? Sure. Does it make any difference to a horse which one of them wins the race? No, I guess not. So, if you told them it was a matter of life and death for you to win, they'd let you come in first, wouldn't they? Hmm. You know, for a human being, you sure got plenty of horse sense. Here you are, Gabby. Eat hearty. And if you need anything else, just give me a ring. What a horse! What a horse! I need money. Cash. We've got to sell everything. Madman, what's come over you? I'm entering Gabby in that race tomorrow. You will have to carry him there. He's going to talk to the other horses, and they're going to let him win. Should I humor him? And as soon as I hawk all this stuff, I'm selling the house. Oscar Gullible, you're not selling this house. Ethel, we're going to be millionaires. Millionaires! Now listen, fellas, you've just got to let me win this race. Or back to the glue factory I go. <laughs> what difference does it make to you guys if you win? It's the same old trough and the same bag full of oats. But for me, it's my life. Here comes the payload now, Ethel. Boy, what a horse. <laughs> What do you think, Ethel? Oh, my jewels, the furniture, our house. Ethel, how would you like a Swiss chalet in the Alps for a summer home? And they're off. Or how about one of those big castles in merry old England? Uh, and at the finish, it's Rainstorm. Fair Lady second, slick away fade, and Gabby is still running. What happened? Didn't you talk to the other horses? I, 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 I did. But I don't think they could understand me. Couldn't understand you? Yeah. It seems that ever since I started to talk to humans, I forgot how to talk to horses. You and your talking horse. What bright ideas have you got now to get us out of this mess? Well, say something! find a friend in the enchanted forest. Joanne, I always miss. Say, don't you know it's not nice shooting arrows at people? Well, I'm Red Robin Hood, and I don't like spies in my forest. But I'm not a spy. I'm Casper the Friendly Ghost. A ghost? Yow! Gosh, he was frightened right out of his fright mask. Hold on, Red Robin Hood. I'm a good ghost, and I want to be your friend. Why would 
were you wearing that frightful mask? That was to scare off my enemies. You see, I'm not fierce looking or mean in any way. I can see that. Then why do you have enemies? Well, I'm really a king, you see. My wicked cousin, Sir Wolfley, has stolen my kingdom from me. From now on, I'm the king around here. But I'm the rightful heir to the throne. The crown belongs to a strong man like me. You mean mean, not strong, Sir Wolfley. Have you tried to regain your throne? It's no use. I'm too clumsy with weapons. Well, maybe I can help you get back your kingdom. Gee, that would be wonderful, Casper. I'll call my merry men. I'm Little Don. I'm Al of the Whale. And I'm Friar Floop. I'm glad to know you. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. A ghost! Oh, wait, don't be frightened. Casper's going to help us get my kingdom back. Oh, that's different. First, we'll have to show people you're a better man than Sir Wolfley. But how? I'm no good at anything. Look, Sir Wolfley challenges all comers to a tournament. Where are we going? To the castle. You're going to enter the tournament. But Casper, I can't hit the side of a barn with a bow and arrow. Don't worry, Red. I'll help you win the tournament and regain your crown. A uh halt. -huh. What do you peasants want? Oh, we want to enter the tournament. Ha <laughs> ha, what a chance. Huh? What do you mean? Only royalty can take part in this tournament. Now you beggars beat it. What do we do? We haven't any money to buy princely outfits. I'm going to get you the money to buy proper clothes. First, I'll bump these clouds together. <laughs> He made it rain. And look, he made a rainbow. Now to find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. My friends and I want new clothes worthy of a king. Well, of course, sir. Sir Wolfley challenges all comers to an archery contest. If I'm going to help Red Robin Hood win, I'd better become invisible. Don't worry, I'll be right here when you need me. Uh, I'm scared. So, it's you, Red Robin Hood. <laughs> Listen, Runt, if you can beat me, this crown is yours. I'll shoot first. <laughs> A bullseye. <laughs> Let's see you beat that. Uh, uh, I'm so n n n nervous, I can hardly hold the bow. He's really going to need my help. <laughs> <laughs> what are you shooting at? The moon? Yippee! <laughs> Red Robin Hood's arrow split Sir Wolfley's right in hand. I don't believe it. Red Robin Hood, defend yourself. Sorry to disown you, Sir Wolfley, but you made a pledge, and right is stronger than might, you know. Who are you? Casper, the friendly ghost, sir. Ghost? Bah! A trick, no doubt, to rob me of my throne. <laughs> he is a ghost! Thanks, Casper, for helping me regain my throne and crown. Well, I'll be on my way, Robin Hood. Won't you stay and help me rule my kingdom? My job is done, Your Majesty. Now yours is beginning. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>